Hello there. Welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today, we are talking about cloud computing. As you may know, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and Google Cloud are the leaders of the market right now. In the end of the video, you'll find out the outage hours per year for each of those three providers. Let's go compare them first. Before we start, make sure you are subscribed to see our upcoming videos about technology and innovations. Although Amazon holds the leadership on the market, we think it's not always the best choice. Not for everyone, anyway. Do you agree with that statement? Share your thoughts in the comments. However, AWS is a go-to cloud infrastructure for enterprises. Its resources are responsible for processing multiple real-time requests, handling fluctuating user loads, and scaling to different geographical markets. Used by Facebook, Netflix, LinkedIn, Baidu, Meanwhile, Microsoft Azure specializes in supporting software as a service, retail businesses, and IoT. Used by Asus, HP, BMW. Google Cloud stands out with its program for startups that can get a special offer for using Google Cloud infrastructure. Used by PayPal, eBay, Colgate Palmolive, LG CNS. By the way, we also rated different kinds of cloud service models. You can find a link to the article in the description. We've just reviewed the selling points of the infrastructures, but what are their weaknesses? As for AWS, the infrastructure versatility creates unnecessary complexity. We don't recommend it for beginners. Also, calculating and predicting costs on AWS is confusing. Plus, the platform doesn't provide enough customization for hybrid clouds. Azure has a reputation for being immature, we notice that even primitive operations fail sometimes. It's problematic for large enterprises to handle a lot of traffic simultaneously. Also, users don't have clear guidance on how to put their infrastructure together. Google Cloud joined the game later than AWS and Azure did. It is still immature. The support chat is often inactive. Our next priority is to compare the functionality and versatility of Google Cloud, AWS, and Azure. First, Let's discuss computing. AWS uses Elastic Compute Cloud. The engine is also known as EC2. The services use 275 types of instances and use more hardware than any cloud infrastructure. We love this engine for its versatility. Also, it supports more than 76 zones all over the world. While AWS engines are the most stable ones in the market, the number of downtimes is seven times lower than that of an average cloud provider. What about Microsoft Azure's virtual machines? Azure approaches computing by dividing the workload between multiple virtual machines. Unlike AWS, Microsoft Azure is very active about adapting hybrid clouds. Now let's review Google Cloud with its engine. Unlike Azure and AWS, Google Cloud doesn't prioritize the versatility of computing services. Its main center of operations is the Compute Engine. It's a multifunctional service that handles billing, instances, allows virtual machines customization, manages data storage, and performs many other tasks. The next criteria is storage. AWS infrastructure offers a lot of storage options for different types of files. There are simple storage service for object-oriented data, elastic block storage that stores persistent blocks, and elastic file system that hosts company files. SLA availability for AWS is almost 100%. Azure. Default storage software in the infrastructure is Storage Azure, a tool that stores unstructured information using REST APIs. To handle heavy workloads, the infrastructure uses queue storage. Google Cloud data storing and management tools versatility is notably lower. Businesses use cloud storage for object-based data and persistent disk for file management. What about networking features? Amazon Web Services. To balance workloads and distribute computing resources, AWS uses an Elastic Load Balancer. It's a service that can automatically choose the settings of workload capacities, storage performance, and costs. Azure Microsoft. The network on the platform is managed with a VNet, a virtual representation of cloud network. For dedicated, private connection, Azure offers Express Root. Google Cloud Network. Google Cloud Networks, just like Azure and AWS, are private and hybrid. Businesses that use private networks can customize the routes, 
protection, IP addresses, and routers for their storage. Let's now review their downtimes. AWS has the reputation of being the most stable cloud provider in comparison to Azure and Google Cloud. According to research, the infrastructure experienced only 338 outage hours. As for Google Cloud, it follows Amazon rather closely. Its downtimes amounted to 361 total hours. Azure, on the other hand, is almost six times less stable. The cloud infrastructure records, on average, 1,900 outage hours per year. Summing up, there are dozens of aspects to consider, from price to data customization options. It's important to choose a provider by analyzing your current needs and predicting future priorities. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We provide software development, UI UX design, and testing services to top brands worldwide. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel not to miss our upcoming video. See you soon.